Um, and now Steph Lauer is going to come up and lead us in prayer. But before she does, I'm going to ask her a few questions. Please, so Steph, can you tell us a bit about your family and how long you've been coming to Coast for? Hi everyone, well I'm Steph, Steph Flower, and the Flower family is my husband Pete and our children are Boaz and his lovely wife Meg, not this Meg, she is lovely but she's not my daughter, um, and Petra and Eden and Levi and Josiah and Eternity. And you haven't met Eternity because she's already gone to glory but you may have met some of my other children and Pete and myself over the years, as we've been doing um, youth ministry, children's ministry, welcoming, catering, how long have we been here? Well, we realised that um, Boaz was the first to come to Coast, probably about 12 years ago, and he was in the original youth group that was started here. And then we tagged along um, a couple of years later. So we've been here as a family for about 10 years. How awesome. And you have this year kicked off a coast group. Um, can you tell us about that and why you love leading these women? Okay. I, think, I think I love leading the group because I don't really so much lead the group. It's a, it's a beautiful gathering of women that God has just brought together. And I might be the one who sort of asks the questions and reminds us what we were praying for. But we're supporting and encouraging one another and um, doing kind of the faith journey together and um, it's, it's lovely in that way and we, it's a, quite a diverse group of ladies, um, different backgrounds, different stories. We're at different stages um, in our walk with the Lord so that brings a real richness to our conversation and our study of the word and our prayer um, yeah, I think that's the things I love about it. That's awesome. And if you're not in a coast group, coast groups are our version of Bible studies, a way to connect throughout the week. And we'd love to get you into one if you aren't already. Um, and lastly, how can we be praying for you and your coast group as you lead your coast group? Okay, so for myself, I think the thing I pray for myself is that I'll be um, solid in my preparation. So, um, yeah, I guess technically I am the leader, so I want us to be treating the scriptures with care and reverence and part of that I think is just me being familiar with the text um, so that we can sort of step through it in a logical and um, careful way. So I need to be diligent in my preparation and alongside that is for me to be humble and so... I need to keep praying for humility to not be the leader, you know, um, and just to come to the group as a member of the group and one of God's daughters. Um, for the group, same with any coast group, you know, that keep praying for one another and for other groups that will be growing in faith and um, getting to know the Bible better, loving each other well, so making these spaces where we can be vulnerable and real to one another um, and really invite God into those hurting places um, so that we're loving one another well and also looking outwards, so loving the community and, um, yeah, I think that's it. Well, I'll pray for you now. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, I thank you so much for Steph. I thank you, um, yeah, that we've been able to get to know her a little bit better. I just pray for her, Lord, as she leads her coast group um, this year. Lord, thank you that, um, yeah, she has a servant heart and she um, loves women and gathering women. Um, and I just pray that you would provide her with wisdom and humility as she leads her group, Lord. And, um, yeah, just let it be a welcoming place where the, they can um, discuss, um, yeah, your word together. And, Lord, I just pray that you would be glorified in the midst of that. Um, amen.